does come down from pure R. And a lot of respect given on that push out through A lobby. Aaron is gonna be here in Asuna. Maybe privy to this. No, not ready for it all, but he doesn't go down. It's damage. It will eventually be traded out as Aaron backs away. And Ethan picks up a couple across the map as the numbers get cut down. It's 100 Thieves in the lead on the site. He go to fall. Now in a 2v2 situation, Aaron still on the flank. A couple of right clicks can go wide as Nitro tries to trade it back. And Death is holds it down on the site. Finally, get all down to the sky here. And Ethan, we hyped him up in the difference. Can he make the difference here in the pistol round to get the show rolling? Unfortunately, doesn't have the time nor the HP. The losing team to be in a tough spot. Three creep up. Asuna a little too quick on the trigger. Able to find one. The spike will fall, but now retrieved and planted. As the player ahead, but the health of plenty for 100 Thieves. As they look to retake the site, this is before the spike even goes down. Zekin has nowhere to go, nowhere to hide as they swing around 100 Thieves. That'll delay any trickery from Aaron. And as the is popped in, so is the trip. Pressure is on for Xset, but Death deals with Asuna towards mid. You already said this, And I, I talked badly about the Marshall, but it finally gets some value as Nitro up on top of the box can go unchecked as Aaron will find a second on the round for 100 Thieves. Now it's all up to Nitro to try and hold things down the spike. Just on the opposite side of the box, and the rounds will go right through him. BCJ cut the numbers down as Ethan falls. Steal on one health and a 1v4. I shouldn't have said anything about the economy because that was plenty with his power barrage. So they've bought the rotation. They know they're leaving their sight. And with that information, Garnered Exit going to head right back towards A. Well, Austin, I tried to have something to say about it. Going to miss on the first shot as Death. Picks up Hiko, trying to rotate back over, but the pinch onto the side. Now Asuna completely trapped in. The up will fall, and in a 3v3 situation, Def pushes for more. Steel undetected for a second, but Def will fall. No command to be popped, and now the retake to come on through. It's an operator in the hands of Aaron. It's BCJ stuck underneath heaven for now. The cross should be spotted. Next set, can they battle their way out of this one? Oh, Steel's already found one. Aaron has the trade back, but he needs a little more. Just him left in this clutch. One bullet in the op. He's found the shot. 33 HP. Classic needs his right click, but Nitro is able to find a couple frags off it, but instead it's forced to fall back. Trailblazer down and drone exchange. So information both ways is 103 popped by Excel. The Seekers come on through as Pure pushes up. The knives are going to go wide for us and are not able to convert. As Pure R hops right onto the site, BCJ able to find the next kill, opening things up. Steel is still really creeps on up. It's only Nitro. Hold it down on the site, able to pick up one, maybe doesn't spot the other. Now looking to peek that same angle as the recon bolt and give the information a dark cover, but nowhere to go as a spike seconds left. will be planted. The three and it is Gresham here out of Steel. He already popped that knife early on. Seems aware that there's at least someone in close. Bit of aggression also attempted out towards mid by Asuna. He dashes back. The dog reveals seal and well, he's just stuck in a corner. Death to gun him down. It's a free opener for Xset. And Ethan took quite a bit of damage, I believe, inside garage earlier in the round. So now you're down to two and a half players as you try and retake the site. The economy wasn't great. So nothing really to maneuver for the cipher as Pure R gonna find Ethan 4v5 retake for 100 Thieves. Death is still garage window as well, so he's holding that extra space. However, Austin has found a frag. It's BCJ cut down. Hiko droning through his force. Fall back out of death, but Asuna just dashing on in. The aim is strong. He finds Aaron. Second though out in mid. It's lurk for lurk. It's death to fell Nitro and steal to fall in mid as well. Asuna still on the site. The shot is so crisp. He's looking for the ace three already for the young jet. The spray is good. It's four for Asuna. Now left to Zekin to clutch. And Asuna spraying away. Asuna has the ace. They're narrowly missed, but it did spot out where the, the you know, the... 5-0 oh in the nice. last round, Zoomer is. They do look to back away from this one, not before Pure R. Finds that frag onto Hiko. Oh no, Steel Five trades down, it back, eight. so one Boomer down. The next one steps up, and BCJ, the next to fall. It's down to the last two with a dash right into the sights of Aaron and Zekin. The ace sight, and forced to play the retake. His timing is good, That's even up standing. top, but Zekin's holding for it. Leaves it down to Nitro. This is two Spike in planted. the clutch. Paranoia is still up and a possible fight against second, but second has eluded him. He's already back into the smoke. Spots him out, but Nitro is still stuck towards spawn. He's got information on both players. He's going to look to play around the dark cover with a shrouded step. Just a fake. Trying to create some extra paranoia from the kit. The guiding light online. Going to give the flash. That's 
Pretty trivial information. And Zeno Nitro pushing onto the side. He's going to hop onto the spike. Look to go halfway. Again, the paranoia getting so much done. They line up. And so what? Austin is not online with the blades, but Pure R is. The steel was looking for a wall bang early. Now able to rip the no. down the sky. No, will not. As Pure R picks up One a second. Oh my god. For a third is able to find it. Now Nitro in another clutch situation, unfortunately. For the Omen of 100 Thieves, it's a 1v5. He starts off with the first, no damage taken. Has some utility to play with. Is going to look to ult over towards that A site. Now might just get checked. Zekin is going to do just that. The next find a whole lot as 100 Thieves creep up here towards the B site. Nice damage traded out onto Zekin as he sent out the Guiding Light. He's completely nearsighted, but still finds one in response. Sasuna hops on the kill feed, and he go to grab another. Playing slow, but getting it done as Pure R goes a bit too fast. And this pistol, a near flawless so far as BCJ, the last one stand. At the very least, the only thing that's a bit weaker. I'm gonna hold that thought as Asuna goes up and over the top of the utility. Aaron not going to get the tag there, but Ethan will get tagged up himself. Trying to queue up a Guiding Light to get himself out of dodge, but just couldn't do it in time as they all funnel inside. That's where Asuna wants him. Picks up three. Now looks to close out the last two here. As Pure R split away from BCJ by a Fragment Grenade. It's going to be a tall task here for Xset. But one that they surely can do a shot to the Radiant Eye box. Cut down BCJ. He go to Clanton. The clock ticking down Ethan. Manages to get the plant. Doesn't take any damage in doing so. And it's Nitro. The damaged omen to try and play aggressive here with skill right behind him. Nitro picks up one, but they're traded right back. Exit in the driver's seat, but just for a moment as it's all up to Ethan. Guiding light goes through, looks right into the flash, has nowhere to go. But takes heaps as he heads back. Toward that C site, the no command. BCJ still manages to find not a frag, but downs the robot. And Zekton unspotted, but through the wall, Ethan will steal it back. The resurrection now online, and Steel rejoins us as we look to push on through. Hunter Shuri on top of it as Hiko inside the kill feed. It's Aaron still holding it down, and Pure R, who better than has the knives from downtown, will pop the grapes. But he runs out. The operator might not be enough as the shot goes. Take a peek at the last one. It's Pure R. I mean, this is, again, it's why these players are just so darn scary no matter what they have in their hands. Yeah, that feels bad for Def, too. He thought he was going to be able to find a gap, but does not quite happen. The new school earlier in the game, and well, BCJ is going to get aggressive out towards mid. Finds the first, goes unchecked for way too long. Still here, is still trying to get something more. For now we're drawing, trying to find the tag. The up shot not going to land there. Hunter Shuri, though, trying to split him on the side of Zek and falls. It's a 3v3. Pure R. Going to trade angles here. Aaron picks one up onto Hiko. Swings a bit too wide. Out towards Garage Steel with 70 Last HP inside the dark standing. cover. It falls. So does he. Now Nitro in a 1v3. A very healthy three members of Xset as the dark goes through. The op will fall. Now in a 1v2, maybe they're expecting the omen to be elsewhere. No way! Nitro almost does it! A bit too late. Now Asuna in a tough spot. The Trailblazer tagged him up, but from the shadows, Nitro behind enemy lines. Gonna toss out the Paranoia. Looking to help the team out from heaven. Has the high ground, and Zekin with the low ground. Not able to find anything. Hiko trades it out, and it looked good for Xset for a moment, but 100 Thieves they battle back as they storm the site. Now they got a two-player lead. Make it one. Zarin steals one back. Weapon recoverable here for Aaron and Chalk still up for BCJ. They have the util they need. It's winnable. That it is. Zero point. Not going to stop the utility from coming out just yet. The run and gun was in the mind of Aaron. Not able to find it. He'd go going huge with the 3K on the round. A huge frag to have. Now we're all knotted up, and they're looking to go from slow to fast. The rifles in the hands, and I pick up one. A nice paranoia. No, it was the Seekers. As Eco grabs one with his ult as well. So a two-for-one trade out towards the C site. The spike. Not planted, not secure, but it's there. As Steel goes on the flank, not on the Sentinel, but instead on the KO. Only good for one as it gets traded back, but it's 100 Thieves. Still a player ahead of Zekin. Looks to try and play the crunch here. Low HP on the sky. BCJ needs to get something done at the very least. Find his two so Zekin can find his one. Well, he's being held here as well. Ethan is ready. The off angle established. Zekin cut down and Nitro wow. at point. Wow. It, not only a, an incredible comeback, we saw a 9-3 half, so of course we could excite. They're already out. 
Marshall up, oh. and Ethan through the wall. What a shot from the sky. It's Asuna towards spawn. X set down to three. Aaron in the smoke. He's suppressed by the KO. Spam coming through. He's under so much fire, and he tries a desperate play. It doesn't work. Now two versus five for their life in the map. X set dropping down. It's second to fall. It's BCJ, the last man through the wall. Finds Asuna, but two bullets. Four kills needed. This seems impossible. The shot start forward. A shot on to see amount of control Hunter Thieves has right now. Nitro is out towards the catwalk, and they have a man in main. It does put a lot of pressure on Nitro's shoulders to be able to hold that one down and try and secure that pinch as the paranoia comes through. It's going to force the players the next step away. And well, they battle right back for a couple of frags. It's a three for one, leaving it into the hands of Steel and Hiko. One enemy remaining. Well, now all up to Hiko, and unfortunately, couldn't get it done in the 1v4. X set, they lose map one, they come. X set is just playing this retake setup with a lot of utility committed towards the tree room. You see the grab wells, you see the swarms there, but you also see his pure R knocked down incredibly low. Yeah, 145 on the jet will be topped off, thanks to Zekin, who does have the regrowth himself. Aaron forced to back away. A nice recon bolt. Gonna get some info. And, well, Pure R goes right back to work with the ghost he had in the previous round. Picks up the first on this one. Closing things out onto Ethan as As Asuna sneaks away. A shot to the side of the head. Finds the second. The four is starting to come online as Nitro now secures a weapon of his own. It's Xset, a player down here in the retake. It's looking like Pure R the first to contact. They know the position of Asuna, but they don't expect Nitro. It's a one-for-one -one trade, but it's Hunter Thieves to a player up. Huge dash by Asuna to buy so much time and force this tree fight to be everything for Xset. Now they have to actually deal with the matter of the spike and its eco. Wow. It's Nitro for the final two. Dark covers out. Aaron still close, still has utility available. Nitro will fall out towards mid. It's death to find the first kill on the round. Aaron does get traded out on the B site, opened up. But Steel on an incredible lurk here, maybe undetected. Three players for 100 Thieves on the side, and there it is. Steel for two, make it three. It's all up to Pure R with Operator in hand. Put the Marshal in close, this is going to be tough. Yeah, now powerless due to the null command as Asuna goes up over the house. Death and BCJ will fall on the site, and it's just bodies to be found there for Xset as they try and bring up the rear towards that B site, unfortunately. Nothing much to be found. It's a hindered by it's kind of what we are expecting in a round like this with Hunter Thieves to have superior firepower. It looks like X set on a split across the map. I can play containment here. Take away some of the weapons, but Zek in the first to fall out of the three that remain. Oh, what an adjustment. Nitro is so forward, but they also commit resources to watching their flank. That can be an issue in these old okay. caps. Thought he was slow to start things off. Seekers are popped, and it looks like they might just be primed for an ace, but Paranoia forward Austin of the dash oh. off of its spray is there, but Ethan just finds a huge double entry exit again on the back foot, forced to play this retake. Forced to play the retake, quite possibly forced to play the resave. They have to try and find something early in this one as the spike gets planted. Spike or else planted. they won't get anything at all. And there it is. BCJ will pick up the first. A nice wall bang from heaven to hell. Looking for some more as the drone grabs some info. Unfortunately, no bodies to be found on the opposite side of the wall. Grab well. Recon bolts. Going to give some information back. Not a whole lot of penetration. Well, you don't need penetration when you've got the backstab as Nitro comes through for one, looking to close it out on the next in death. Now not long for this world is a near flawless round, just a round. In terms of losing to the Thrifties, there's so much respect given and they're securing the rounds that they need to. It feels, uh, I guess, a little stagnant, right? We can kind of know what to expect in rounds like this for X and hopefully they can make me eat my words. Zayren undetected, picks up one, looking for more as Asuna assumes his position on the site. Ethan, not gonna take a peek at the Killjoy who will find another, and it's 100 left. Thieves. They've taken the site, but they're on the back foot. I sure here, you still still to work, but they want to set Asuna up for a fight, but his tailwind is expended. Only one cloud burst to work with, and that is the perfect shot start from BCJ. Steel now in the clutch. One versus three, but his opponents don't have weapons. Time against him, but the plant's forthcoming. Ten seconds left. And he hopped off for the plant. Now has to look to stick it. There's the thrift. Hiko not garnering too much. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Well, Asuna turns it around completely. It was only BCJ spotted by the drone. 
out towards the spawn. Asuna goes up and sits the Sova down. Now again, the tip of the spear on the site, creating the space. And Ethan finds another frag. Xset, they start to get their feet under them, but the rug is pulled out once more. Now in a 3v5, it could be containment all over again for this Xset squad. Asuna is hungry. He wants more. He's already out towards market. Purar is flashed off of the line and Zekin is just forced to hold close. They might still want to go for this, but it's really just desperation. Ashina with the blades ready. Hiko well, finds the trade for death and well, with the trades coming through, it comes to a three versus one and pure R. Hiding light gonna slow things down for a second. Ethan gonna get tagged up, but not taken down. Unfortunately, not able to convert. Zasuna has pushed on to the site. Trying to play the close quarters again. We've seen the shaky aim, but he finds the heads no less. As it's Asuna for one. It's Ethan for the next. It's one HP on the jet, but what more can he find? And a one spike HP on Ethan as well. The spike carrier has fallen, as has the spike. And Xset looking to play right around it as Pure R. Picks one up through the wall. Slow the fall. The lockdown to keep him onto the site. They have to try and fight off of it, but he's go ready for it. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean much nothing to account for there as they all get wiped out now nitro in a 1v3 needs to go clutch or it's going to be x set as i said previously momentum list but now they very double tag he's trying to convert the kill won't happen but it's a good bit of damage early on They do have an answer this time around as Asuna pushes through, finds one, they go blind for blind, sky for sky, it's second out on top, but it's traded right back. Fortunately, Ethan not able to find too much, and back and forth we go, a three for three thus far here is the round. We're just about 20 seconds deep, but the bodies continue to fall. Now a 2v2 situation with some dueling drones. Eco looking to gather as much info as he can, and Steel in a tough spot, needs to cross, will toss out the flash. Just to get through towards the site, but death in this round, Mimi, could go huge. This could be a huge pinch here. Aster Util queued up, still on this plant. Dart initiated for BCJ. It'll ping out one. Shock's ready, and it's a bit of damage off of it, but it's death in main. Finds ahead of Hiko, cuts it down to steel. He's in this tight corner, so death, it's gonna be hard for him to be traded if he doesn't look at this position, and he doesn't. Leaves it to BCJ and steel. Push over the top. Lines out BCJ, and he goes around the end. When you have these frags, and hundred thieves are consistently getting, but look at this from Xset. That's Ooh. a huge fight out towards lobby I've before the game. Trial. We ask for aggression, and well, we finally have it. This might just be what they need to win around. Yeah, and you've got your two punch up, but you lost your one punch. Austin has fallen. Ethan's still alive, but what can he get done without his that trusty duo dead. he's got hiko right behind it but they get sat down leaving it all up to steel who is slow to the play out towards b tries to line him up but exit again lights the fragments looking to slow things down for a second asuna undetected but it's ethan this time with the one punch asuna match with the two it was just a fake out towards the b site as exit have secured their positions on the a site door closed spike down and a retake eminent that it is. It's a strong post plant position. Def Tortel has that double setup with BCJ on the Silva, but 100 Thieves, remember, it's triple initiator and they're queued up. Nice shock dart right under the feet of Def. And there it is, Asuna, the two punch this time around. Make it the third as Aaron battles back, but to only find one. It's a dash on through. Name a better duo than maybe Zekin in the frenzy here. Maybe Zekin in the post plant as a recon. Both gonna get the information. Asuna looking to stick the fuse. He forced them back away on one HP. Continues to find the frags. Too many players. Means the spike to few. The kill first. Asuna then finding the second on the round and both a match into the force thanks to the spike being planted Xset already lose one player so a weapon down again still winnable steel chipped away at low HP and it's just the bonus unfortunately we're worried about the vandal no. here and well the vandal's able to find that frag as death again meets his fate there a little bit unfortunate not to find the spray down the shock dart in the last round, the spray in the next. And DCJ tries to find some more, not able to do so. 
Wow. Huge stuff from the 100 Thieves. Seal just getting hyper aggressive in this round. There was a risk of the force up, but they just disrespected a little bit. Fight on forward. This time it's not Ethan and Asuna. It's Steel and Asuna instead. And it's Eco coming for support. Zekin will find Steel, but the artillery is here. However, Zekin still finding impact. Picks up two, but here, out towards the B site. And taking a page out of 100 Thieves' books. They try to hold it down onto the side. Zekin already gained lots of space. And, well, there's the first kill. Continuing to open things up for his squad. The Zoomer aim met by the Boomer aim. As Steel picks up one. A favorable trade the way of Exit thus far. Retake is doable. Asana has the Blade Storm. It's still that updraft dash. But it's Aaron stuck out towards main in a good position. But Ethan has found him. Now things are even. And Dyer, as I say that, Zekin finds his third on the round. BPK in a match with one, and it's all up to Ethan. But a fork go on the other, the dash on through. The smokes come down, the shots to land for one. Asuna, he's getting shaky, but he just might find the grapes. It's plenty here as BCJ trades it back. The site assumed, but Steel trying to steal it back here, trying to rip it from their hands. It's Zekin now, the last one standing as he down. To Berlin for the 100 Thieves. But a great start to denying that to one here it. from the Jet and Sky of Exet this time around. They pick up a couple of kills, a Cosmic Divide, gonna split that site on top of it all. Steel will fall, Nitro the next to go down, and Zekin assumes so much space. Three on the round. And the silence as the eight seconds has passed. The site has been taken and the utility back online. It's going to allow or free take onto the A site with the spike planted. It's something a bit different, Mimi. It's a 5v5 in the post plant. That it is. Positioning is really good from Xset, though. Op in the hands of Asuna. It's tough on the retake, and 100 Thieves initially taking this slow. Droid looking to be that first point of initiation. Huge recon bolt there as Def finds the first. The op shot's not gonna land just yet for Asuna as he's glass cannon in the round. Def to find another. They try to pinch onto the site, but they all start to fall themselves. Only two kills picked up as they leave it in it to the hands. Make it one kill picked up as they leave it in the hands of Asuna who finds another on the way out. A bit of foreshadowing hey, to the last round of regulation. We found ourselves in this situation once before. 12 to 11 was the score line and the 100 Thieves closed out in the final round. But, Xset, they're looking to flip. We'll hover on this side of the map as well. Nice guiding light in the drone. Gonna get some information as to where Ethan is currently playing. Not gonna amount to much more off the back end of that for now. Nitro undetected, but the Seekers surely give away the position. Nitro goes huge. He picks up three to equal the odds. Very healthy for the two remaining for 100 Thieves for Xset. It's the Zoomer and Zekin. It's pure R to try and hang on, but the no command will slow things down for now as the suppression. It stops the utility. The guiding light for the flash, the spike to be planted. It all comes down to this. The fragment forces them away. The shock cart finds the frag and pure R. In a 1v2 situation to try and hang on to get us to OT. To secure the spot in Berlin, they just can't. That script to keep alive, to try and find their way into Berlin through this upper bracket. They're 